okay now we cannot just use the plastic made in the industry and directly use and make products no it's not like that we want a better quality of plastic we want a designed plastic for our particular use okay so we have to add certain constituents in the plastic it's kind of ingredients of plastic this is called as compounding of plastic okay so all these ingredients are added to improve the qualities of the plastic now for instance first one is raisins what the raisins do they bind the plastic molecules together plastic particles together okay so they are used as binders they hold the different constituents together right so plastic is classified depending upon the binder which is used the binders can be synthetic or natural okay cellulose derivatives they are some of the examples similarly we have fillers or extenders so we can just fill our plastic with some more ingredients so that amount of plastic required is less so this will reduce the cost of the plastic fillers if there are hard substances like stone particles those fillers will increase the hardness of the plastic tensile strength okay so all these like the examples quartz mica cement stone particles these are quite hard particles so when you add these to the plastic as fillers they improve the hardness of the plastic next is plasticizer from the name itself we come to know it is going to improve the plasticity of the plastic okay so these molecules they penetrate into the polymer matrix and they increase the plasticity they increase the flexibility of the plastic okay they increase the mobility of the polymer so that the stains can slide over each other but when you increase the plasticity the hardness and the toughness of the plastic decreases so some of the plasticizers used are vegetable oils esters can for these are some of the examples of plasticizers next ingredient that is added is lubricant to improve the finish and reduce the sticking tendency of the plastic to the yes so lubricant layer they act as a layer on the plastic so that molding of the plastic can take place much easier so commonly used lubricants what is the lubricant that we use generally it's oil so other lubricants are wax soaps these are used as lubricants of course we don't just have only one colored plastic we have very beautiful colored plastic as well so what is required here coloring matter what is the role of the coloring matter impart beauty right so what could be this coloring matter coloring matter could be dyes okay it could be inorganic pigments right they also give uv protection to some of the plastic by absorbing the light right next is antioxidants oxidation is one of the reaction that is responsible for spoiling lot of things our food gets decomposed by oxidation if you keep food for a longer time this oxidation reaction takes place oxygen free radicals carry out the oxidation reaction decomposition starts in our body also the aging process is because of the free radicals that are present in our body so if we could trap those free radicals we can decrease the decomposition rate we can decrease or stop the decomposition similarly plastic in an organic compound it can be subjected to decomposition due to oxidation or oxidant free radicals and hence we need to add antioxidants to provide the decomposition of the polymers okay and last one catalyst depending upon the reaction it can accelerate the cross linking of the polymer different metal catalysts are used hydrogen peroxide zinc peroxide all these are used as a catalyst so these were some of the ingredients that we use for preparation of good quality of plastic or improve the properties of the